now we can start the talk. Uh, just a short introduction without any further ado, I present now Danilo Lukic. You all know, I believe, who he is. Uh, coach of the legendary Novisat team. I think this guy won all every possible tournament in 3x3. And now uh, I give him the word and we all attention. Just a short introduction and we enjoy your talk. Come on, Danilo. Okay. First, everybody, I want to say hello and I want to say thank you because you invited me to be part of this platform. I think that this kind of platform is very important and I think in future those kind of uh, seminars or webinars, it's very important because there are no so many coaches 3x3 and there are no so many people where I can speak about especially 3x3. Okay, basketball, but especially tricks three about specific situation. Like you said, I am the part of leg legendary historical team, so I will make uh, a little uh, introduction about, about myself. I think that it will be interesting to you to hear how we function. It's specific. It's something that people uh, don't know. I started my tricks three story uh, in 2014. I started to work only with Dan Mistorovic uh, as his uh, individual conditioning and basketball coach. I, I was doing, uh, I was coaching him two years in a row and after that uh, Team Novi Sad called me to travel with them to see the sport and from 2017 I moved to Novi Sad to, to be uh, the coach of 3x3 Team Novi Sad. I was involved in all results from 2014, but in different ways. If you want to be a 3x3 coach, you have to be prepared, you have to be ready to do a lot of things, to do a lot of jobs, to fighting for the player. That is a very, very, very big part of this, of this sport. Because we are fighting against 5-5. Five five. I, I like very 5-5, five five, but we are fighting for the players. You know, every country, has problems to fight for some players. Here in Serbia, we are also fighting for a place. Even we are the best in the world. We have a lot of teams. We are fighting for the young players. So be, be fighter in every way. I started like a strange and condition coach because I finished faculty for uh, in that, I don't know, for that uh, job. But uh, all the time I, I was doing coaching uh, with the kids and also with Dan Majstorovic. During all these years, I was physio, I was training and conditioning coach, tricks, trick coach, and individual skills coach. We are growing like a sport. So just be ready to do all of these things. Uh, if we know that we have a lot of aspects of preparation, we have physical, mental, technical, uh, uh, tactical, theory and integral preparation. All of this preparation is important. When I'm say, saying that during all these years, in one moment, I did, uh, uh, I did more physical preparation, later technical and year by year, I'm focused only on tricks three. Now I'm only in that way, because I think if you want to be good in something, you have to be specialized only for that. What I'm talking about, I was a physio, tricks, trick coach, everything. That is bad. If you want to be good in something, you have to be specialized only for one thing. But my history, my, my way to, to this, to this the, the part of the Serbian national team and Team Noisad was like that. So be ready to do a lot of things. Now we will talk uh, only about tactical preparation. How we, we function in 3x3 Novi Sad and Serbia national team. That is one way how we function. And I'm also under 23 years, uh, under 23 and under 18 Serbia national team coach. That is completely different things. If we're talking about Novi Sad, okay. I make the scouting, individual team, and we are watching the scouting. And everybody is talking. Everybody give his opinion and, and, and thought because they know that sport. They're together from 2012, my storage from 2014. So they are 
together a lot of years in a row. So uh, they know this sport. After we watch, everybody, we, we make decision together, together. I want, but at the end, I have to take that Bullet create this team, Bullet lead this team, Bullet is a leader of this team on the court. He's also coach on the court and off the court. When I'm saying that, when you have some situation, tactical situation, uh, usually you have two ways. You can do this or this. And both of ways, ways have uh, good and bad arguments. At the end, he has the last word. And that is also important. We function it like that. It's not, I am the master. I say, do this, do this, do that. No, it's not like that. So they are, for me, they are, because of that, they are bigger. They are bigger. They, they create everything. They create for themselves sponsors. They create the tactics. They create me as a coach. They rec recognize me, call me. So they are, uh, okay, results uh, are very big. They, di they did everything. But believe me, they are much more of that. Uh, why I wanted to say a lot of words for intro introduction, because I don't want to give to myself something that what I'm not. I'm not the head coach like in five five. I don't know like uh, Phil Jackson or uh, uh, Greg Popovich, and everybody listen to him. And the only thing what he say is like that. No, we don't function like that. We all together speak. And after that, we made decision. Uh, I think that we, we did a good thing. I think, think that I did a good thing because the only thing what is important in sport is result. So uh, was we right or wrong? We have results behind us. I think that we, we did a good thing. But also, I don't want to give somebody what I did, I know what I know, and I, I and I know what I did for that team. So that is the reason why I, I wanted to make uh, such a huge introduction about not just by myself. It's about this team, and that's it for introduction. Now I will start to talk about building team offense. Just a second. I want you to see. Is it okay? Like this, yeah? Okay, about building team offense. I will try to finish in uh, 20 minutes, uh, half an hour at, at most. And after that, you will ask me the question because you know better what you need. Uh, but I will tell you how we create our game, how we build our, our game. First of all, it depends of the players, of their quality. Uh, are they big, are they small? What they know to do. That is the, the first thing uh, what you see and uh, depends of that, you will create the game. But in a training process, first, just a second. Everybody do everything. When I send, when I'm saying that, that means that every player can be a ball handler, a blocker. He can make screens, uh, receiving the screens, be inside the paint, outside the paint, do hands off, take the ball from hands off. Now, to, to do everything. To fill every position because three, three game is different because uh, you can do everything on the court. After that, after that is another thing. But before that, I just want to say this: you have to do with the beginners. When I'm say beginners, it it doesn't mean it don't mean that you are doing uh, you are coaching the guys who are young. I have experience now from this year that I have a player, he's 30 years old from some, some team from Belgrade, but he's the first time in this sport. He's coming from five of five. So I give him 
I will tell you, do everything for the beginning. When you practice, do everything, everything. After that, when you know your strange things and your weakness, you will do. Next thing is. You will do special specialization. That means do what you know, do what you uh, do something where. Just a second. For example, if you are a small guy, you will not be a blocker. You will not be the guy who makes screens all the time. But if you pass this, everybody do everything and know to do that. You, as a small guy, can make a screen or a pick and roll, but that will be the mask for uh, a real cooperation, for a real block who will uh, what you will do in the next in the next few seconds so it's important to try to educate the players to do everything on the court especially especially if they are beginners so this is how we are doing all our national team youth national teams after that those are the steps offensive steps But I will talk only about, I don't know what is the term for that, but we call it live ball. We call it live ball. We have a live ball and also check ball. I don't know how you call it, but this, that is. And this is the crucial, this is the base. If you educate, if you coach your players to do uh, those steps, what I will uh, write here, in a live ball, check ball is very easy, very, very easy. First thing is clearing the ball. Yeah, we oh, everybody knows what is the clearing the ball, but it, we can do that with a pass and with a dribble. What is better? Always is better to doing with a pass. It don't depends only uh, the passer is the guy who is important. No, another guy who has to receive the ball. You can you have to coach him how to make the position, how to box the player to get the pass. It's always better to take a pass because it's faster. That is the fast transition. And you, you, you will spend maybe one second. If you dribble, that is two until three seconds. It's a big, big time in trick three. It's a big time. Also, the important thing is clearing the ball. I hope that you see is the area where you are clearing the ball. We have three area. This red area is a corner. That is the wrong choice, the worst choice what you can do. Don't clear the ball in the corners because if the defense is smart, they will guard you to push you on the baseline. And that is bad. Another two is this here. We call it 45. And here is the middle. The best position is middle, but it's not a mistake if you do on this position. So, how? With a pass. Okay, with, if you need to get a dribble, don't go to the corner. That is very important. Another step is positioning. That means boxing. When I'm saying that, that means when you clear the ball, if you're a big guy under the basket in a low post with a small guy, that is finish of the action. Just good boxing your player, good boxing your player, and you have a mismatch or you are alone. Also, 
That means when you are inside the pain, but also you can do it on the three point line. Here is the guy, your guy. And if you do good boxing outside the three point line, you are already clear on the clearing position and you are alone to score. So clear the ball and then make a good positioning. Box your player because transition from 3x3 uh, in 3x3 from offense to de from defense to offense is in one second. Your positioning in the moment when you are defense completely change in a half of seconds when you are offense. So if you are, have a good position, you, you, are, you have easy basket. The best guy who do this is Mihailo Vasic from Team Liman. Inside the pain all the time after boxing the player, he create very, very good positioning for easy basket. Of course, it depends where the player is. If the defense player is under the basket, you will be in front of him. If the player is somewhere here, you will create your space behind him. This is also a big area to speak about, but this is the basic things. Also here, you understand, after the boxing, just stay with your player and, and wait to player get a pass and give you again pass to easy basket. After that, the third step, co cooperation between two players without the ball. In 3x3, you have cooperation, two players with the ball and without the ball. Without the ball, a lot of things. That means flare, flare screen, away screen, uh, from deep, uh, front block, back block, all of those blocks, that means cooperation, two players without the ball. The fourth step is cooperation, two players with the ball. That means all kind of pick and rolls, pick and pops, rap pick and pops, rap pick and rolls, cans of pick, all of kind. And at the end, it's one on one. That means with the ball, but also, but also is without the ball. The crucial thing in 3x3 are those two those two cooperation two players with the ball and without the ball in those steps this is the most important we practice almost only this this is the thing what we practice the most the most okay one-on-one -on -one also is a basic thing but this is the specific basic thing for 3x3 this is a huge area to speak about it we can speak about that uh, a lot of because we have uh, 10 different blo uh, blocks, 10 different screens. So each of them we can speak uh, where is your foot, where is your arms. It depends on the rules. Today uh, this is not foul, tomorrow it's a foul. So be, be, be smart and think about this thing mostly. The sixth thing, it's Offensive rebound. Every action has to be uh, finished with the offensive rebound of every prayer. No matter we, uh, in what second it's a shoot. No matter uh, who shoot from where. Every uh, offense has to be finished with the offensive rebound with the two or three players. For me, it's a three players. All, also, the shooter should go to the go to the 
rebound. If you look, Team Riga, they are top top three team. They are not big. They are not. Uh, they, they are not uh, tall, but they are the best offensive rebounds because they are fast and every every offense they attack offensive rebound. This is six steps. Okay, clearing the ball. What is the biggest biggest mistake every young team, every unexperienced team? After you cl clearing the ball, every of them go skip all of those steps and go just play one on one. That is the biggest mistake. Okay, he will score sometimes. But the point of all of this is to create easy layup, open shot, closeout situation, or mismatch situation for one-on-one. -on -one. But that is at the end. We are trying from those steps, two, three, four, to create easy basket. On the top level, you can't win. Even you have Dusan Bulut. Dusan Bulut can't score. 21 points. Even he's a very, very good one-on-one -on -one player. But that is not the good strategy. We are finding all the time to create easy basket, to create close-out situation for some of the players. Also, what is very, very important for me, two things, including all the players in a moving and including all the players in the contact with the ball. Just look this situation. Okay, you have Dusan Bull and he get the ball and he can score one on one immediately. From five times he will score three three times or or four times. But where are the other players? They're not in the game. Maybe the last shot will be the shot for the win and my storage will will have a chance. So this is also important to in one action Every player has to touch the ball, to pass the ball, to be dangerous for the score. So it's not only about one score. Sometimes it's the best way to just give the player play one-on-one. -on -one. But it's not good because of the strategy of all the game, because of the last minute. In the last minute, if you have three players who are in good, in good feeling for that game, you are you you will win so that is very important thing this is like in school clearing the ball we clear the ball nothing happened we are not alone we don't have advantage we are fighting for the positioning nothing happened we don't have positioning for easy layup i want to add here here switch side Switch side, maybe you don't see, but switch side. That means when we clear the ball, this is switch side. When we clear the ball here with the dribble, the best thing is to pass here, here, switch side, pass here, and immediately you have a very good situation to make a flare block, go down, and opportunity here to shoot this is just one situation but we are fighting to for the a little space on a top level you are fighting for a half a meter 10 centimeters to not be in the contact with the defense so if you switch side immediately this player here this defense player here must move a little bit to see what's happening here so Switch side is a very, very, very good option when you clear the ball. After that, if you switch side, you have a very good situation for the third step. That is cooperation between two players with, without the ball. I told you what kind of blocks you have. Flare block, avail block, away block, everything. Nothing happened. It's not a problem. If you create a little bit space, you are in the best you are the best option to make some pick and roll. And defense will late and you will be alone. 
Nothing happened here. You don't have any advantage. You don't have closeouts, mismatch, nothing. Then it's one on one. When we are talking about one on one, it's very important to find the best option in in that in that lineup uh, lineup in those three three players who is play in the game. In Team Novi Sad, the best option is Dusan Bulu. But not every time. If we have Dan Majstorovic or Toma Ivoshev on small guy inside the paint, give him the ball. So for one-on-one, -on -one, it's very important to find the best options in that, in that situation. This growing with experience. If we're talking about Novi Sad, every time, almost every time they they do right right decision but if you're do if you're coaching uh, young players you have to explain to them uh, who who is the best player in that moment to play one on one because usually all of that players think that they are the best just explain to them to create the best situation mismatch situation who is the best in the best situation to to play one on one okay offense it's okay. What is important? This is like in school. One, two, three, four, five. But you have to put in the head of the players that in all the time, every player has to be danger for the score or to make advantage. Every, that is, that is a, a philosophy in his head. Every time, in every moment, on every part on the court, he has to be danger for the basket. If you have that kind of mental preparation, after clearing the ball, it's not a mistake if immediately they do cooperation between two players. It's not a mistake if they immediately play pick and roll, and after that, nothing happened, they do cooperation without the ball, and they have advantage. But it's a mistake. For me, it's a mistake. If they don't have, if he don't have easy basket, obviously easy basket, to immediately play one-on-one. -on -one. That is a mistake. Even you are the best one-on-one -on -one player. Okay, you will score. Another players didn't touch the ball. They are not in the game. It's hard to score one-on-one. -on -one. You, you lost your energy. It's for me, for our, my philosophy, it's mistake. Some sometimes one time in a, in a one game or two time it's okay if you feel good if you have player who feel very good who score six points in a row okay just play one on one because you are on fire like like everybody say. But these are the steps. Uh, first, in your training process, process, process is like this and also in live game like this. For check ball, you just have starting position and you are finding the weakness of your opponents. For me, this is the basic. But what is also very, very important part, which is include in all of those steps, that is spacing. When you are clearing the ball, you are clearing the ball with the dribble. And one player is here, another with the ball is here. And another ball is here. If you are clearing the ball here, it's a bad spacing. A lot of one, two, three defense players. Every time you have to have good spacing. Also in positioning, in positioning. We have a big player alone here. And here is the guy with the ball. If the third guy is here inside the paint, no lob pass, nothing, bad spacing, bad spacing. He has to be outside the, the, the two point shot. And then lob pass can can go inside, and it, it is a little bas uh, easy basket. Also, cooperation with the 
two players without a ball. Bad pacing is very, very, very bad thing. Also in uh, with the ball, that is basketball thing. We we heard uh, Milan Isako from Liman. He uh, gave us another philosophy about spacing last time. It's very interesting. It's very interesting what he said. But it's on you. Is it basketball spacing, uh, like in school basketball spacing, or you will find some another solution like him? Because it's a lot pass. They are player blocking the space. Not they are they are not going into the space. They create the space, and the lob pass will pass. Just to remind you, he said that here is the ball. Another player should be he, should be here, and the third player is here. And then a lob pass can pass. If the number two is here, guard defense can go here, and they will steal the ball. But it's on you. This is the basic thing. Spacing is included in all of those steps. Just think about it. That is uh, all of me about this. Now I want to hear your questions.